All right, I'm gonna spend about the next 15 minutes or so sharing my story with you. And I'm gonna share my story with you in a specific way. I'm gonna share the most important lessons that I've learned about traffic, and I want you to write them down when I share them with you. Right now, life is absolutely awesome. Every day I get up, I'm excited to go to work. Um, I just asked, where is she, Kim? I don't see, oh, there she is. I just asked my, my lovely betrothed now, Kim, uh, girlfriend, prior girlfriend of six years to get married, you know. <laughs> clap it up. And if you guys want to know the story, um, do remind me at the end, I'll, I'll tell you. But I also sent it out in an email, so I can share that email later. Um, you know, our, our, we just took our business, we just uh, increased its revenue by about $80,000 per month in the last three months. Things are absolutely awesome. I love living in this world. Yeah, clap it up, please. I, but it didn't start that way, you know? I started really like everyone else does, with just a little, probably fear. I mean, for me, I just remember wake, waking up one morning as a pharmaceutical sales rep, jumping in the shower, and I just felt my heart start to beat real, real fast. Couldn't breathe, my voice, my, my, my chest got really shallow, and I have asthma, so it wasn't because of asthma, it's just I was, in, I was having a panic attack, and the reason I was having this panic attack was I was thinking about my life. See, I'd been a pharmaceutical sales rep for like six months at that point, not very long, right? But I realized that every single thing I did was the same thing that I did the day before. And if I looked future into the future of my life, and I asked myself, well, what's life gonna be like 10 years from now? I didn't see anything different, except for me being a little bit fatter, a little bit more depressed, and yeah, maybe I have a, a, an extra week of vacation after 10 years, maybe 3% pay raise or whatever, but like, that's not the dream I wanted for my life, and it freaked me out, because I had no idea what to do. So, I mean, has anyone felt that kind of moment? Have you guys had that moment where you're like, dude, this, I mean, that's why we're here, right? Yeah, yeah. So being in that state, in fact, let me make sure I talk to everyone. I'm gonna walk around. Being in that state, we don't know what to do. So I just kind of went out and I started buying books on like real estate because you would see like Crofton Sheets and No Money Down stuff, right? And um, ultimately that led me to making the worst financial decision of my absolute life, which was to buy an apartment building. I thought I was being young and entrepreneurial and I put $5,000 down. I use this program called NACA, which gets people into their first homes. And I'm like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. My grandma's proud of me. Now every year that I go to my accountant to do my taxes, he's like, man, you gotta get rid of this, this cash suck. Because every year, that thing, shh, it's the worst financial investment I've ever made in my life. I mean, I'd be absolutely bankrupt if it weren't for this internet traffic stuff. So I make that bad mistake. And then, I'm gonna chill out right here for a minute, then I'm gonna go over there somewhere. So you guys gotta turn around. <laughs> um, and it, it, I end up going to a seminar online. Uh, a seminar at a Holiday Inn for real estate stuff. And I, I remember I walked in, I was so embarrassed, I was like, I hope I don't see anyone that knows me, this is the most embarrassing thing. And so I sit in the back, I sit like way in the back, let's say I sit in the back there, and I'm like, keep my eyes down, and you know, this guy gets on stage, just like we're here right now, and it's amazing to me, I don't buy his thing, but it's amazing to me, because I see like a hundred of those people that are sitting down, like run over to the table and buy his thousand dollar thing. It's like, holy cow, like money isn't that hard, right? A thousand people jump up and go buy your thing? So that impressed me. But what impressed me more was the guy that came next, and this guy started to talk about the internet. This is a little short, fat, ball guy. And I won't go long with this story, but I'll tell you this. When he started talking, I remember...